Greetings, Slackers. September Man here with another video. And so, as we're heading into this new year, you know, I was checking the news out. And so, they were talking about a lot of these new regulations and laws that are going to be coming into effect. And so, you know, every year, there's always these new laws that they roll out with. And one of the most interesting is going to be the passage and legalization of recreational marijuana in California. Now, they're making a really big deal about this. You know, I've lived in California most of my life, and I can tell you, marijuana, cannabis, it was just about everywhere. But it's a really big deal because it's going to be legal. You know, you can not have to worry about being messed with by law enforcement and, you know, having your activities um, infringed upon, okay? And so this is a really exciting time. I know a lot of people will probably, you know, they can't wait till midnight. The midnight, <laughs> happy new year, okay? So it's going to be going down, and a lot of people are excited, as they should be. But there's some problems with it. And one of the problems that needs to be discussed is the whole framework of legalization. Over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of learning that I've had to do about the whole legal system and what legalization versus decriminalization really means. And I understand that legalization is a baby step to perhaps other opportunities in the future of, you know, no regulation whatsoever, seeing how people react to this and what kind of statistical data that they're going to be able to come back with based on people's usage, um, health effects, you know, traffic accidents, and all this type of stuff. But there's a difference between legalization versus decriminalization. And so under decriminalization, you're taking it out of the framework and jurisdiction of law enforcement, okay? And it is restoring a right to you that you should have. You should have the right to indulge without the state or big daddy government's uh, permission, okay? If that's what you choose to do, you being a consenting adult, know of the risks that is associated, and therefore it should be up to you and what you decide, okay? Not what the state deems as being acceptable. And so... A lot of people are excited, again, and a lot of people, I'm sure, are going to be token up. There's going to be clouds everywhere, okay, of people celebrating that they now have, you know, this right. But you best believe the law enforcement is going to be out there in full effect. You know, they're going to be patrolling. While a lot of you have been looking forward to this moment, what you have not seen them doing is in the background working on things such as they have a mouth type of uh, saliva test where they can detect if you recently smoked or if you chewed an edible because what they're going to try to do is say that well if you partake in this stuff you're under the influence and as of right now as far as I know there is no legal standard from all my reading from all my reading there's no legal standard as to what constitutes as impairment like you do with alcohol and marijuana is different from alcohol and how it works for people and everybody is different as to how they react to it. Some people might do it, like it and be fine. Other people, it may not be their, you know, cup of tea. So we're just going to have to see what happens and listen to the stories that are going to come out about it being legalized. And I'm really surprised as someone who used to live in California that when they had the opportunity to pass it back in, what was that, 2016, uh, that it didn't go through then, you know, uh, I was really surprised that Colorado was one of your first states to legalize it. I would have always thought that it was California. California has always had a lot of it. That's what California, next to its pillar industries, you know, Hollywood, wine, pornography, Silicon Valley, that's what it's known for. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it on that note. For you folks out in California, for all my friends out there, 
you know, enjoy, celebrate the new year responsibly. And um, let me know your thoughts about this and about the state and what they're doing and what you see for the future and the comment section below. And that's going to do it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.